Hello everyone. We will continue the same program. And in the previous videos, we finished with the coding part of the program. We are displaying the output using which particular internal table LT underscore final. In this video, from the starting till the end, we will understand everything in debugging mode how we are fetching data from first table, second table, how we are merging that data of two internal table into one final internal table, how we are displaying the final output. We will understand each and everything in debugging mode because writing the logic is sometimes not important. Why we are writing and understanding is very, very important. So what I will do, I'll put a breakpoint on the first query itself. And parallelly, the Excel is also ready. We will compare and we will understand fully. I will run the program. I will give the input one, two, three. As it is a select option, so we will be able to provide the multiple input or range of input. I will go for execute. I'll go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now, currently I am on 39 number line and we are fetching data from which table? Order header table. Based upon what? Based upon the input. What is the input? One, two, three. This select option has our input. If I will double click, and show you this. This is the input which you passed. One, two, three. This input is on which hand side? Right hand side. This input will pass to which particular column? O and O column. Of which particular table? Order header table. It will fetch the data of these four columns and data will come into which internal table? LT underscore data. If you see LT underscore data as of now, zero records and four columns because our first internal table has four columns. Now I will execute this query. If I will execute this query, I will execute by which key? F6. Because F6 is line by line execution and it is one line in SAP. I'll go for F6 and you can see three records came in the internal table. If I will open the internal table, I have three records. Order number one, order number two, order number three and data of how many column? Four columns. This column is by default, which is giving the index. Now, we have a if condition. If LT underscore data is not initial. What the meaning of is not initial? Is not null? Is not blank? Is not empty? Do we have data in the first internal table? Yes, it means internal table is not empty. And you can see the size sub RC also. Size sub RC is zero. It means this query is successfully executed. So, this if condition is true, I am doing F6. Now you can see I am on 45 number line. In this query, we are fetching data from which table? Order item table. Data is going to which internal table? Second internal table. But based upon what? For all entries in first internal table for all entries in first internal table. How many entries in first internal table? Three entries in first internal table. Three records in first internal table. And based upon which where condition, first internal table order number is acting as a input for which particular table, second table, which particular column order number. Check in this internal table, what are the values of O and O column? In this internal table, what are the values of O and O? 
वन टू थ्री सो वन टू थ्री विल पास टू विच पर्टिकुलर कॉलम ओ एन ओ टू विच पर्टिकुलर टेबल ऑर्डर आइटम टेबल एंड इट विल फेच द डेटा ऑफ हाउ मेनी कॉलम थ्री कॉलम एंड डेटा विल कम इन टू विच इंटरनल टेबल सेकेंड इंटरनल टेबल दिस इज मोस्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो फर्स्ट इंटरनल टेबल ऑर्डर नंबर इज ए इनपुट फॉर द सेकेंड सेकेंड डेटा बेस टेबल ऑर्डर नंबर नाउ आई विल शो यू सेकेंड इंटरनल टेबल इट हैज जीरो रिकॉर्ड एंड थ्री कॉलम वंस आई विल एक्सिक्यूट you can see we have eight records in the second internal table verify the result parallelly please verify the result parallelly also this is the best way to check i will go to sc11 transaction code firstly i will go to header table what the input we gave from the screen order number 1 2 3 so how many records came three records came is our first internal table has three records yes three records now this 1 2 3 acting as a input for which internal table which particular table second table so i will go to item table i will go to con display contents 1 2 3 order number 1 2 Three order number acting as a input for which column O N O or which table item table. If I will execute, you can see how many records. Eight records. Do we have eight records in the second internal table? Yes, eight records in the second internal table. It means these two queries returned the right result. Right result. Now we will understand this nested loops. how we are passing that data of two internal table into one single internal table so firstly i will just show you everything this is first internal table three records this is second internal table eight records this is our final internal table and it has zero records as of now we need to fill this final internal table from this two internal table which has six columns now currently i am on 52 number 9 whenever this loop will execute first record from the internal table will go to which work area lwa data this loop will continue how many time three times this loop will continue how many time Eight times because this internal table has how many record? Eight records. So whenever this particular loop statement will execute, first record from the internal table will go to work area. If I will show you first work area, first work area is blank as of now. Whenever I will execute, you can see first record move to work area. First record move to work area. Just see what is the first record in the internal table order number one. Is it moved to work area? Yes, it is moved to work area. Correct. Now, what is first work area order number? What is first work area order number? It is one. It is one. It is on the right hand side. Right input is always at what? It is on the right hand side. It means O and O is equal to what? One. this internal table in this internal table in this internal table it will go for what o n o is equal to 1 tell me for the first record is o n o is equal to 1 yes o n o is equal to 1 whenever this record will match whenever first record will match this record this record from the internal table will go to which work area lwa underscore data one suppose if i'll show you second work area it is completely blank as of now whenever o and o is equal to 1 what is our input input is 1 for this internal table lt underscore data one in this internal table it will check is o and o is equal to 1 
Yes, ONO is equal to 1. So this record will move to work area. Now, whenever I will execute, now you can see this record move to work area. Now, just see how it is moving now. What is work area order number? 1. This is order date. This is payment mode. This is currency. This is order item number. And this is item cost. We have the values of 6 column. Now we need to pass it to final work area. If you see LWA final, it is completely blank as of now. Once I will execute F6, 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 F6. And you can see the values of six columns move to the final work area. Now we are using append statement. Append will insert the record to internal table. Just see the internal table as of now. LT underscore final. It has zero records as of now. Once I will execute, you can see we have first record in the internal table. So first record move to the internal table. How many columns data? Six column data. Now control, we are clearing the work area now. Yeah, now you can see work area is blank as of now. We cleared the work area. Now, still the control is on inner loop. Control will not go to outer loop because inner loop will continue how many times? Eight times because in inner loop has how many records? Eight records. If you see this in inner loop, inner loop has eight records. Now, what is the where condition for the inner loop? Again, order number is equal to one. So first record is red. Now with the control will come to which record? Second record. Is order number is one? Yes, order number is one. So it means second record from the internal table will go to work area. Now second record move to work area. If you see the work area, LWA data one. What is the work area value now? Order number one. Item number 20. Just see in this internal table. For the second record, order number 1, item number 20. Now, header details are as it is. Only item details are changing. Now, we are passing it to final work area. Now, from the final work area, we are passing it to final internal table. Just see, we have how many records in the internal table? Two records are there. Now, control will come to third record. Now, just check for the third record. Is the order number is one? Yes, order number is one. Yes, still the where condition is same. Where condition is same. Where the where covered is the order number one. Is it is one as of now. So, it will read the third record. So, third record will go to work area. Now, third record is going to internal table. Just see, we have three records in the internal table. Now, control. Now, people have a wrong perception here. They will think we have a where condition. So, this loop will only, only go for three times. This loop will only, only go for three times. It is not the case. Loop will go for other records also. But it will not because the condition will be failed. So see, for this loop, what is the where condition? Where condition is first work area order number. What is first work area order number is 1 as of now. For order number 1, how many matching record? 1, 2, 3. So it processes the 3 records. Now people think it will only go for 3 times. It will not go for rest of the things. This is not the case. Still, loop will check for other records. Yes, those have a false condition. The conditions will condition will not be true. But it is never the case that it will not check for other records. It will check for other records. So it will come to fourth record. Two is not equal to one. Two is not equal to one. Three is not equal to one. Three is not equal to one. 3 is not equal to 1. 
loop will continue eight times only but yes for rest of the five records the condition is false condition is not true only for the first three records condition is true but it does not mean that it will not go to other records it will go to other records but condition is false at that point of time so now this loop is done now control will again come to which loop now outer loop now this is our first internal table first record processed now it's a turn for which record second record now whenever this loop will execute the second record will go to work area if you see the work area what is work area order number now work area order number is two as of now now what is first work area order number the first work area order number is two first work area order number is two in this internal table it will check in this internal table firstly control will come to which record first record but is the where condition order number is two is order number is equal to two for the first record no now again do not think that it will directly start from this record no it will go one by one is one is equal to two no is one is equal to two no is one is equal to two no is two is equal to two yes so it will read this particular record now we have a order number two now we are passing the record to work area from the work area we are putting to internal table and you can see we have four records in the final internal table now control will come to fifth record is order number two is for the fifth record yes order number two is for the fifth record so it will move the data to work area and we are putting to final internal table five records now people again has a wrong perception that it will not go for sixth seventh and eighth record it will go but condition is not true so it will again go for the outer loop now we have a outer loop now two records already processed now it's a turn for which record third record now so this record will go to work area now what is first work area order number first work area order number is three three as of now in this internal table it will start is one is equal to three no one is equal to three no one is equal to three no two is equal to three no two is equal to three no is three is equal to three yes never think that it will directly come to this record no it will go to all the records one by one but the condition is false so it will read the sixth record now we have sixth record in the internal table it will read the seventh record now we have seventh record in the internal table and now we have eighth record in the internal table now inner loop finished outer loop all records processed all three records so control will simply come on to the next statement because there's no further records in the internal table now this internal table has how many record eight records of how many column six column it means this loop will continue eight times it will pass that data to the work area one by one and we will get the output of six columns and total eight records will be there and you can see we have eight records and data of how many columns six columns will be there very important understanding and debugging is a tool because sometimes writing the logic is not important why we are writing and understanding it's very now in the next video we'll go for few more examples of classical reports so that's it in this video thank you